Pierre, I, I can't. I can't take the suit. You will need it too. I, I, I don't feel right. Stay with me. This nightmare again. You again! I really need to get better at dodging these attacks. At the edge of this cliff stands the famous flower house of St. Exel. It was given by its owner to the village, which still contributes to maintaining the quality of its gardens. Still inhabited, the building is regularly open for heritage events. door can be unlocked from the other side. The lighthouse! I'm getting closer. The village really isn't investing in its infrastructure, and storms make it even more problematic. This tree was marked to be felled. It could make a nice bridge. Can't break that with my bare hands. Hurt, but that won't be enough. A storm could help. <sighs> well, it doesn't seem to have awakened them. Coelocybe phosphorus, recognizable by its phosphorescent dress. It made its appearance a short time ago in the region of St. Exel. With its lightning growth capacity, it is able to grow in a single day. Ripe, they can be enjoyed by some coastal birds. Hmm. 
Interesting. Maybe I should gather some of these. This road seems to lead to the White Manor. This door can be unlocked from the other side. Ugh, too bad I don't have change for these tourist traps. Facing the lighthouse named La Crenne. The lighthouse was built in 1835, a veritable directional beacon for the sailors of the coast of St. Exel. It was nonetheless decommissioned in 1983. It is only in 1988 that La Crenne was put in service again, welcoming a hydraulic generator that supplies the village. Point du Mal, right, St. Exel's village, straight ahead, Lichran. It's like someone just came for this incredible spectacle and forgot his bicycle. But these things were not here before the attack. people were working here. Access to the top of the lighthouse is condemned. Why did you have to be so grand? Because of recent events, a lot of circuit breakers were stolen from the electrical gates. While we wait to receive more, we keep the last one inside the equipment locker. In the meantime, don't hesitate to use the same one on different gates. A bit unexpected for a lighthouse. These cables go all the way to the ceiling. everything to the side to make room for something else. It automatically locked the doors behind me.
left a note for his co-workers. Franck is so fed up that we keep forgetting his birthday, that he has set the day and the month as the padlock code. Can someone change that back to the inauguration date? So, what is your code, Frank? where the town's additional current is monitored. Hmm. I can probably restart the system from here. Once the pressure is fixed. They had to make space for these machines? They do not seem to belong in a lighthouse. Good thing nobody can find them here. It's completely dark in here. Can't do that now. Watchtower schedule and system monitoring. The entire workforce is listed on the board. Something is written here, too. Could anyone pick up Frank's shifts for the upcoming weeks? Local police apparently suspect the cult has started kidnapping people. It is indeed curious so many people would disappear without leaving a note. Their last ritual site is located near the lighthouse, at the Pointe des Mal. It might be worth checking out.
So now, I need to fix these colored cables in the right order. Breaking the chains will require a stronger force. depth of the sea, his anger spreads through our families. This sounds terrifying. Wondering what's that thing they mention all the time. Despite the mess the protesters left behind, you're still offering comfort, aren't you? Damien, the 28th of June, 1971. This one looks like it came back from a long trip. This is one of the places of contemplation in St. Exel. It was vandalized just before everything went down. of March, 1967. Celine, the 30th of December, 1966. 27 is a really young age to go.
this panel seems to monitor the pressure within the turbines. Only the first one appears to be working correctly. documents on this desk look much more confidential than the previous ones. This place appears to be a government cell dedicated to recording underwater sound activity off the village. And this has been going on... for a while. But I don't see what they're trying to find. They appear to be studying something at the bottom of the sea that is moving at precise coordinates. On April 17th, 1991, they recorded a signal which they define as organic. The signal was recorded on a cassette to be sent urgently to the DGSE because this would jeopardize the military security of the country. But one of the lighthouse maintenance staff apparently stole the tape? They quickly managed to identify him and where he lives. This is my house!
Now that the town's current is better, I can access the house's attic again. I don't have anything on me to enhance my gun. almost never set foot in here. There's- Wow! A projector! I thought I would forget its existence with my school years. What is it doing down here? Nothing. This was under the house. What was he doing here? Let's shed some light on this. If you're listening to this, you are probably the person sent by the office to continue my investigation. Well, at least I hope. My name is Matthew Banks, and I started this work about a year ago. As stated in my previous reports, I infiltrated the lighthouse last month, but they just found out that a tape was missing, and I think they're on to me now. I used to copy, uh, borrow tapes during the night, but this time they noticed before I could bring them back. I didn't have time to use the new filtering machine, but I left the tape inside it. I hope it's safe there with you. Since I have to leave, I prepared the way for you and I have regrouped all of my ongoing work onto three different boards, each including a guiding tape. The first one gathers my studies on the audio signal coming from the oceanic floor, which was the reason our interest was piqued by St. Exel in the first place. The second board will give you more details on the local cult, whose believers call themselves the Devoted. The third board is about Operation White Medusa, which is probably why you're here now. We are now definitely forced to recognize that the village of St. Exel is the center of great political and scientific interest, as we first suspected. I hate to leave like this, but I'm afraid my time has come. During the last two weeks, the lighthouse had trouble acquiring new information from ashore. A apparently some kind of technology has been jamming their signal. Is there some kind of expert trying to hack the operation? I'll leave it to you to find out. Passports? Money from different countries? Oh, and there's also boat tickets to leave for Plymouth, England. He was planning on leaving, just wasn't sure when. What is this folder? Your next objective? I'll study that during the night. A bit of reading always helps.
Wait, isn't it exactly the same gem I have attached on my bracelet? Where did he find it? He was apparently willing to ship it to be analyzed? My lava lamp. I love it. Pierre probably hit it here, out of reach. Can't believe he'd think it's just a passing trend. Poor guy never understood anything about home decor. This van is locked good. This suit. I was in the attic with him when everybody disappeared. I remember wearing it, but we just had one. Honey, I finally finished my restoration project for this arcade machine. And I've got a challenge for you. I know you love a good one. So try to beat my best score. You will win something I'm sure will bring back good memories. Looks like some of Pierre's homemade music for me. I thought it was lost since the moving in. I love that music. <laughs> 